Hi everyone, welcome to another Figma exciting tutorial and today we will learn how to create iOS 18 button. So let's start. Okay, first we need to select text tool and let's type button. Okay, and for the typography, let's select sub headline regular. Okay, and now press shift 2 on the keyboard, press shift A. So let's convert this to auto layout and let's first apply the pale color. So it will be blue and for the corner radius let's make it 99 so it will fully round for the padding let's make it 10 and this one will be 4 okay and let's quickly rename this to button now simply duplicate the text so we need to place the icon here so for the icon we will be using sa pro symbol library okay so let's copy this symbol and double click paste it so we have placed our icon here and for this spacing okay let's select this one and for this one let's try to use auto layout and let's slightly decrease the width so as we can see now our height is 28 but it is hug so we can fix it for the height but let's leave it hug for now okay now select the button and let's convert this to component okay so this is our button now we will create variants and all the properties to the button okay now we need to select and add property so the first one will be variant and let's rename this to size this one will be small let's add another variant for the style and this one will be filled let's create another variant and state enable let's create another variant for the label type symbol plus text okay now let's create text property so this one will be label for the value let's say submit let's create the property and let's select the text and apply the label property okay so now we have created like the subcategories step by step add now let's create another variant increase and for this one let's instead of fill we will be using another for tinted okay so for the tinted background we will be using miscellaneous tinted fill and for this content we will be using the same blue so this one blue okay so this is tinted button now let's duplicate this let's add another style so this one will be gray okay so for the gray let's change the color to let's try to use fill tertiary let's make it list wise fill tertiary and the text will be blue and now simply duplicate this add another property so for this one let's use plane and for the plane we don't need background so let's remove this and we have simply plain text okay now we need to select frame and let's increase the width so we need to create something like this now select all these sorry don't duplicate this let's make another property and this one will be disabled let's select these three buttons and here we can simply apply the fill so fill tertiary and select inner content and let's make this one is label tertiary and also select this one and apply label tertiary okay so this is the disabled state as we can see now we can simply duplicate this by option key and if we just disable it so as we can see now we can simply make it tinted and even plain and this is the disabled state and at the same time we need so we can enable it let's make it gray or tinted everything is working good so let's delete this now we need to create like symbol text and only symbol and only text so let's create okay so now let's increase the width and height of the box something like this okay now let's select with the control and command key and let's duplicate it two times okay and now simply select this and here we can add property so this one will be only symbol this one will be text Okay, so for the symbol, we know we need only to select only the text and hide it. And here in this case, we need to select symbol and hide it. Okay, so for the symbol, okay, let's undo, let's select. Okay, so for the symbol, as we can see, the width is 38. So let's fix it to 28 or maybe we can make this center. Instead of fixed, let's make it hug. So as we can see here, it's 28 by 28. So it's mean that it's completely circled. So now we have text symbol. And so as we can see now, we just simply drag with the option. And here we can simply change it to symbol. And let's make this one is disabled or enabled and filled. Let's make it tinted, gray or plain. So this is how we can create multiple variants. Now let's work on the, this, this is basically the small button. So let's create the set of medium and then large. Okay, so now we need to create the medium version of the button. So let's select. Uh, first, we need to increase the height of this box. Okay, and now select all these. Simply duplicate with the option key. 
so maybe something like this and for this let's add new uh, property so this one will be medium okay so for the medium we just need to simply increase so let's say if 7 and 7 so it is 34 height so we need 34 here and for the size we will leave it sub headline regular same for the icon but here as we can see we will do the same thing here so let's increase the padding here 34 by 34 width and height and it's completely round okay so this is our medium and now we need to create large okay so these are very tight here so let's add some spacing select this press shape let's add some spacing here now select this and duplicate it with the option key okay so something like this now again select these and here we can add another property and this one will be large so this is large and for the large we need to select all these and press enter so it will select the center content and here we can simply make this one is body regular so it's 17 so we will slightly increase the size of the text the last one is 15 here and this one will be 17 so body regular 17 now let's okay now let's simply drag this okay so here we need to select these buttons and reduce so for the corner radius we will make it 12 and for this let's add some spacing like 14 so in the ios as we can see they make the button height 50 so we will also make this one 50 and as we can see now it's 50 so let's add some spacing here okay for this we also need to make it 50 by 50 so for this let's add 50 and make it 50 okay and same thing for the icon so body regular is fine for the left and right fading let's make it 20 so 20 is the fading and let's add some spacing here okay so this is how we created our ios button and here is slightly issue so let's fix this and uh, as we can see this is now fixed width so let's try to make it 34 by 34 so now it is circle same thing for this one and we can simply decrease the padding 34 by 34 okay and uh, this is how we created our buttons for small medium and large and now if we are if we want to use it so for the using purpose as we can see here is 72 variants and uh, single button so we can simply drag the button here press shift 2 and now let's edit it so for the text i want to text logo okay and let's make it large button make it tinted okay and also let's change the icon so for the icon let's say I, I want to use or maybe let's change the text to download download freebie.com okay this is the site where you can download this freebie and okay now let's simply select icon copy and double click paste and we have changed let's make it to fill press shift 2 and this is how we can change our button to medium small also we can create disable state and this is the enable state we only need symbol and also uh, we can change this to only text and symbol plus text and here we can change the actual button label so hope you like the tutorial if you like let me know in the comments below and also this file is available on downloadfreebie.com so you can download it and reuse it in your own project thank you bye